What's good, PB gang? It's your boy, Poppy Blasted, coming at y'all with another informative video. I know y'all looking at my hair like, bro, what the? My nigga, we ain't gonna get a cut. We don't get a haircut, bro. You feel me? <laughs> and why you like this, man, with your comb all out and you woofing so hard? What's going on? Bro, this is how to take your waves to the next level, man. The importance of woofing. So keep it locked. Y'all see what I'm doing, right? I'm combing, bro. Combing goes hand in hand with woofing, y'all. Combing goes hand in hand with woofing. If you want your waves, if you want to take your waves to the next level, you have to woof, all right? And some of you guys might say, I don't woof. My waves look nice. Yeah, they look nice. That's the thing. They don't look elite. You're not an elite waver. The only way you'll become a lead waiver is if you woof. And that's facts right there. I'm trying to tell y'all. A lot of you guys may say, bro, my waves look nice though. So what? You're not an elite waiver. So it's up to you. No problem. If you want your waves to look nice, cool. It's the difference between nice waves and elite waves. If you want to take your waves to the next level, you have to woof. All right? You have to woof. There's no waiver that ha that's elite that have not woofed at all, ever. Yeah, there's waivers that don't woof now because their waves are trained. Like me, for instance, I don't have to woof what I want to. I choose to because I love woofing, you feel me? I'm so used to it that I'm gonna do it all the time. You know, my waves, I've been having my pattern for almost three years. My waves are hella trained. So I don't have to woof if I don't want to. But in the beginning stages, yes, I woof to get my waves to wait, to get my waves to, become an elite. You know what I'm saying? I woof then. All right. Um, in the beginning, it's d definitely mandatory to woof. Definitely mandatory to woof in the beginning. If you want to become an elite waiver. Like I said, you could be a whatever waiver. You could be a regular waiver. You don't want your waves to stand out. You want to be regular waivers. There's two different kinds. There's a regular waiver and there's an elite waiver. You know, I always, I was born, I was raised by, if I go hard, go hard or go home. So whatever I'm doing, whatever I'm trying to achieve in life, I'm gonna go hard on it. Even if it's just hair, like you guys say, it's just hair. It's, it might be just hair to you guys, but it's not hair to me. It's life, you know what I'm saying? So the importance of woofing. First off, what is woofing? Woofing, you basically woof your hair out to longer levels, longer lengths, levels, levels, longer. Not saying this long, but longer than your normal level. Okay? So to 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 progress basically, to gain more progress. So for example, if you're a regular waiver, you get your hair cut every two weeks, right? You go to the barber, man. Hey. Give me that two with the grain every two weeks. If you want to start woofing, you have to, your woof officially starts after that second week. So after your normal, after the week of your normal haircut routine, okay? So two weeks, you hit two weeks, bam. The time, that week when it comes up and you're going to go get your haircut, don't get a haircut, okay? Push the woof. That would be officially your first week of starting to woofing. The next day, if you normally go to go get your haircut, that would be your first day of woofing. Okay? Don't go get your haircut. And yes, I'm doing this because I'm serious. I'm the teacher right now. This is my ruler. <laughs> Real talk though. I'm serious though, man. I want everybody to become an elite waiver, man. I want everybody to. That's why I try to push y'all, man, to get waves nice. I'm not just a regular dude that just make YouTube videos 
for the fuck of it. I do it because I want you guys to really learn and really get your waves to the next level. Not just a regular waiver, not just to the, have them regular standout waves. You want the waves that will stand out. I mean, you want the waves that, like I always say, somebody see you from a distance, they're going to either hate or they're going to either, either congratulate. You feel me? Hating. Hey, bro. No, actually, <laughs> I, that was a fail. Hating is not even saying shit. They just looking mad dog on you. And then once you look at them, they're like this. They turn away. Now, they congratulate and they're going to actually hit you up in person. And if in real life, they see you in life, they're going to hit you up in person. Hey, bro, your waves are dope, man. I came in front. You feel me? Oh, dang, what you do to your hair? How you, you get it like, you know what I'm saying? They're going to give you compliments. They're congratulating you. But the hater ain't going to say nothing. They're going to be low key. They ain't going to say nothing because they, they hate it. They want their ways to be like that. You feel me? They're going to either think in their head, oh, he got a kid. He doing something. Other. Bro, I didn't have that. I get it all the time when I show my hair. You know what I'm saying? So that is, that is how you woof. You feel me? All these things I'm explaining to you guys is the importance of woofing and how to basically become an elite waiver. How to push yourself to get those breast sessions in, the comb sessions in, everything you have to do when you're woofing. Okay? First thing you gotta do when you're woofing. So I explained to you guys what a woofing is. All right, so now you know what that is. Now I'm explaining to you guys the importance of woofing, what you should do while you're woofing, okay? You see what I'm doing? I'm like 16 weeks woofing, bro. You see what I'm doing? I'm combing, bro. I'm combing. That's, that's what you want to do, bro, when you're woofing. Like I said, the other person might say, oh, he's not what I don't woof. My nigga, if a comb can go through your hair like this and not be like, of course, my hair is long, but once, you go, once you're able to comb, you're woofing. I don't care what somebody say, like, oh, I'm not woofing. You're lying, my nigga. If you comb me, you can woof. You're woofing, bro. You're, even, you might not be heavy woofing, but you're woofing. So you are woofing. You do woof. You know what I'm saying? And with this woof, with the combing, after you comb, you know you need a hard brush. That's why I, I say you don't really need a lot of brushes. I made a mistake by getting a whole gang of brushes when I was like, like, because it, I got, it's like, a, it starts to be an addiction. You feel me? It starts to become an addiction. Y'all know. My real elite weapons, y'all know. At the end of the day, you think about it. I don't want to need all these brushes, bro. I got stupid brushes. I don't use half of them shits, bro. I only use about three brushes, bro. You only need a hard brush, a medium brush, and a soft brush. Get dope brushes, though. If you can't afford the good ones, it's fine. Get what you can. As long as it's a hard brush, a medium brush, and a soft brush. So whoever's telling you that you cannot become an elite waiver if you're not using great brushes, they lie to you. You can use any brushes and still become an elite waiver. Now, you might have to keep getting them because the bristle is going to get messed up and all that. You don't want your bristles to be... Like spread it out, you feel me? You want all your brushes to be aligned. That's why you gotta take care of your brushes. Wash them, you know, take care of them. Cause those are the things that's gonna get you waves, bro. So take care of your, take care of your brushes, man. You feel me? It's like how you take care of your shoes. You wanna keep them clean, keep your brushes clean too, bro. Real talk, cause that's, them bristles, them bristles are going in your hair. You wanna keep your hair clean. That's the whole part of keeping your hair looking healthy. It's gonna go with, along with getting definition. You feel me? Depth. What woofing is gonna give you definition, connections. It's gonna break your forks. It's gonna better your crown. I can go on and on. It's gonna do a whole lot of things, bro. That's why you woof. It's gonna make your waves look more nice because you, when you get a haircut, now you don't have to get it short shortcuts because your hair is trained at a longer level, level now, at longer lengths. So you can get like a two with the two point five with the green or three or something. As a coarse hair waver like me. So, just because you're a coarser waver doesn't mean that you can't have waves like this medium texture waver or this straight hair waver. You just gotta put more work in to get to that level. There's levels to waving. It's not. It's gonna take time, bro. You have to put that work in to become an elite waver to push your waves to 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 go to the next level, bro. Real talk. 
And this is like one of my serious videos though. Like I'm joking a little bit in there, like my little joking stuff, but I'm, I'm talking like serious to y'all because I really want y'all to start pushing and moving that brush, bro, and, co and woofing, dog. This is the main thing that you need to do. That's why I named this video this, the importance of woofing, all right? You need to woof, man, I'm, I'm telling you. And if you don't woof and your waves look already look dope, start woofing now. I told you how to start it. The next day, the next week, after, the next following week after your normal haircut routine is when your first, that'll be your first week of woofing, all right? And it will help, it will help your waves, you know what I'm saying? You also need a wash routine. If you want to wash it twice a week, I prefer that. Once a week if you can't do it twice. I wash my hair twice a week. No more than that, because you want to keep your natural oils in your hair. That's important. Your natural oils is very important. You want to keep them shits in your hair, right? So, anything else I'm, I'm not covering up, I'm not covering in this video. Because it's off the rip. Y'all know my video is just straight up, off top. No stripping, none of that shit. I keep it 100. Um, I don't know. That's, I think that's pretty much it for the video, man. Like I said, you guys need the wolf, man. I will be getting a haircut. Um, I'm filming this video actually on a sun Saturday. It might not drop until Sunday. Not sure. I'm going actually on Sunday to get a haircut. Because I need a haircut. It's time now. Another thing. Which leads to this. When you're woofing, keep your wolf clean. You are the only one who's supposed to know that you're woofing. Like, I have friends that don't even know that I'm woofing. Like, they be like, woofing? Yeah, first of all, they don't know what it is. Then I explain to them, and they be like, your hair not long. And I be like this. <laughs> what? I be like this. They be like, bruh, your hair is long, bro. How you do? It's training your hair, man. You could do it too. You know? You have to train your hair, bro. Another thing is too, though, which leads to this. When you first start woofing, don't try to woof as long as me. Gradually work your woofs up, okay? So when you first, your first week, first time woofing, try three weeks and then cut. Next woof, try a month, which is four weeks, then cut. You know what I'm saying? If it worked out for you and you feel like, you'll know then. You feel like you'd be like, okay, my hair is manageable, still have four weeks. I'm going to go one more week longer or I'm going to go two more weeks longer. If you feel like you need to, you feel like you would know your hair is manageable. And how you know your hair is managed is because you, it will not overcurl. Your hair won't overcurl. It will still look nice. It will still look short, but it really be long. You feel me? That's the thing about woofing. It's good. Like, it helps a lot of things. Like. So don't start trying to wolf for 14 weeks, your first wolf or second wolf or nothing like that. Work your way up. It's a journey. So the waving is a long journey. We're going to all get there. It just takes time, all right? But with that being said, man, that's my time. I love all you guys. This is why I do this. For y'all, I want y'all to learn, man. That's why I'm doing this shit, for real. I want you guys to learn. You know? Any questions, bro? Any questions? Anybody? Comment below. Y'all know I always call me back. If I don't get to you, I will eventually, all right? Any questions? Is there anything that I missed? Comment below. Anything y'all want to know? Comment below. I got y'all. If not, the PB Gang family got y'all, man, because y'all hold, hold me down, bro. Y'all hold me down, man. And I respect y'all for that, man. With that being said, man, I'm out of here. Have a blessed day. The importance of woofing. How to take your waves to the next level. Do you want to? Up they 